hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will learn about the service provider basically service provider are class where registered our classes and binding the service container you should watch bindings tutorial first link given into the description service provider is the center place of the all laravel applications bootstrapping yours and laravel core service binds with this service provider service provider must have a register method and we can bind class in this register method when request enter into the application and framework that time register method called into the service provider when application is bootstrapping so let me show you where you can register the service provider and how to create custom service provider and how you can use it first of all let me open app.php inside the app.php we have one service provider array you can see here these all providers loaded for your application by default and set of services provided by the laravel which is by default listed inside this array and load in your application so when you create any custom service provider you need to add in this array for register and run the service provider it's very easy and we can create a service provider using the artisan command which is provided by the laravel so let me create one custom service provider so let's open the terminal stop the server and create one service provider so we need to fire php artisan with the make colon provider and then we need to specify provider name as an argument i going to specify category service provider and see here provider created successfully so let's open editor and check the provider you can find provider inside the app directory and you can see here basic structure with the category service provider is created with two methods one is boot and one is register when your application is bootstrap that time this register method is called now we need to register this service provider inside the app file so we can specify it here like that and specify class we need to specify namespace as well so let's copy the namespace and specify it here and now you can see here we can easily access this class from the app.php so now path is correct so service provider is registered successfully now we can register one of my service in this service provider and check so well, let me open the web.php file and uh, dd the application and see the current state now let me start server php partition so and refresh let's see the service provider and loaded providers you can see here 31 and let's find the category service provider you can see here category service provider is loaded successfully let's remove from here save and refresh it again 
and now you can see here loaded service provider and service provider is now 30 again so let's put it again save and refresh so your service provider bind with the application when you add your custom service provider inside the provider array of the app.php config file which is located inside the config directory now i going to register one service inside this provider and use this category service provider for binding my one of category service you can watch how to bind service into the provider we have two tutorials link given into the description so you can see it and watch it but right now i going to bind one of my uh, service here i have services so let me open this is the category repository and i going to bind it in this service provider so let's bind we need to specify dollar this we need to use bind method for binding the repository let's specify the repository and class uh, specify function here and specify dollar app and now we need to return the instance of the repository so let's return new and create the instance of the category repository so now binding is done and we can easily bind any of the service into the register method in service provider now let's refresh first of all i show you the binding 85 bindings is there and category repository is not exist in these all the containers now let's refresh and you can see here binding is now 86 and let's see category repositories bind here so you can easily create your service provider and you can bind your any of the class inside the provider and specify your provider inside the app.php so it's very easy and you can use it thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you